Hello everyone and welcome to the Iris Diaries. Today is day 32, I think so. And we finally got to the point where we are gonna be using two Peltiers instead of uh, one. Well, I mean, the first one is already there. I just put one more between the aluminum block and the one at the bottom. And this is a brand new day. And um, something is wrong with the rig, so we're kind of going back and forth with the experiments and I'm trying different things. However, let me show you something that I got today. So these are the PCMs. So this one is um, RT11, RT15, and there is another one in this box. So what do all those numbers mean? If this is 64, then it means that it melts at 64 degrees Celsius. So now it's uh, in a solid state, and we're gonna use this one in the experiment. However, I feel like, um, well, in the future years, people will be using these ones, uh, which means that at 15 degrees, this one, so it's in a li liquid state now, at 15 degrees Celsius, it solidifies. Same with this one, however, uh, in this case, it's 11 degrees Celsius. So, PCMs, this is the first time I see these, and this is pretty cool. I was just um, snooping around the lab, <laughs> don't tell my supervisor about it, um, and, and I came across these, uh, you know, different types of thermocouples, however, it's the same type, however, they look different. I don't know what the difference, it might be the company that produces them, however, found this one it looks pretty old so you can see the this kind of um, thing on the top so it's a thir surface thermocouple so if you want to measure the temperature of the metal you uh, just put it like that so it's kind of pressed onto the surface and you connect this thing to a meter and you record the temperature um, so like the, um, that's the case with this one as well so it's smaller and you can kind of see that there is a um, it's kind of angled at this end I can't see the other end and well it was torn apart um, these two are similar you connect these uh, this end to the meter and uh, you put this on the surface and you measure the temperature. So these are the thermocouples we are using. Um, while I am thinking about the results there, how to improve them, well, kind of just like sending my thoughts to the back of my head, so they're still processing, <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Um, for now, I'm just, um, checking this belt here and I'm checking which side is the cooling side and which one is the heating one and because I need to mount it on this uh, sample holder of the cell uh, and I need that information and right now ooh, I can uh, clearly feel that this side is really cold like oh my god if I put my finger and I'm gonna be like ouch it's, it's really cold and like just by touching it um I'm freezing and also I set the voltage to 9 volts it's probably that's why it's so cold ah. it'll probably start to condensate for a while the other side should be like really hot so now we now we know which side is the cooling side so all we have to do is connect uh, the thermoelectric module to the power supply because you should supply voltage to it so it could do things for you and then um, just for uh, convenience I connected the fan to the power supply as well so it could kind of um, dissipate heat uh, from the heating side and I can feel some warm air coming out from it 
This is the thermodynamic fan, by the way, and there is a fan underneath it, which blows the air upwards. Hello, everyone, and today is Friday, the end of this week, um, and week before the last week of my internship. Today, uh, my supervisor is not, um, uh, in uni so I'm here alone and I'm just running the experiments I'm changing the set point here so the set point line is the red line here which looks like a parabola so I'm just making some step changes so it used to be 25 now I'm running it with 24 then I'm gonna run it with 23 22 and so on uh, so this is the rig. I'm not touching it for now because I don't have to. It stays the same for now because we are running the experiment with two Peltiers, with two thermoelectric modules. And uh, one of them serves as a uh, heat meter, heat flux meter. So we are obtaining results uh, in here. So these five columns here, so it continues till the bottom. So as you can see, it's still running. Um, the duration of the experiment is 1,200 seconds. And I think we're going to extend it to 800 seconds. Uh, later on, we're going to use this um, cell. However... I want the technicians to rebuild it and uh, basically make it complete without any holes in it so all the faces are covered except for one where I will mount this pelt here and we're gonna pour water in there just to uh, see how it will react and measure the heat flux and later on we're gonna work with the uh, PCMs. Hopefully everything's going to be next week because I really want to get to that point where we're going to use the PCMs. So excited! You put this onto here. You give that a twist. You film filming at the moment? Yeah. Okay. Give that a twist. Put it on. Give mm -hmm. it a twist, and it comes off. All right. That looks scary. You inject that into there and withdraw, and you get some liquid in there. This is All chloroform. Right. Mm -hmm. Do not breathe in the fumes. Well <laughs> ventilated area, good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would really like to put this on. Mm -hmm. We get this, this syringe, yes. and we inject just a small quantity of liquid in the corner. And sometimes it moves. Let's just place it on there again. Right. Okay. And we give it a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Probably apply a bit of pressure on top if you want to. And what happens is it melts the, chlor uh, the chloroform, mm -hmm. melts the perspex just mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, then reforms again when it evaporates. Sealed. Yeah. So what we do next is, uh, and what faces do you want sealed up? So again, put one of the windows, put it on top there. And we work all the way around. So this is. Basically gluing it together, yeah. We go right. So this cell is ready, and the the faces are glued on. So we left the pelt here at the bottom because we applied the silicone sealant, and I'm just gonna leave it here for a day. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna need to drill a hole in here so I could pour water in. So this should be fine. And I'm taking this with me. And we're not using this anyways because it's not good with water. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. So 
about to leave the lab. Um, I'm very glad that this is done for tomorrow. So all I have to do is wait till tomorrow. I will collect the cell I left over there. What are those guys doing? They're filming something all day. Is that an experiment or something? That looks very interesting. So anyways, um, what we used? Clear foam? I think so. So this is like an injector. This is the needle. Uh, so the liquid is, is in here. We didn't use this. It's just gonna be here for a while. And tomorrow we're gonna start using water instead of the aluminium block in here. So see you guys until tomorrow. We Hello everyone and today is Wednesday, the last Wednesday of my internship because uh, this week is the last week and what we're doing today. So I'm kind of assuming that today is going to be a very intense day because today we are testing with water in our uh, incomplete for now sample holder and as you can see now the Peltier's is in here and for now and <clears throat> I'm gonna put um, so on top I'm gonna put this uh, square here with a drilled hole in it and I'm gonna use the same material that was used before and I'm doing it for the first time so luckily it's gonna stick complete cell looks like I'm just gonna pour water in here and this is gonna measure the heat flux and now I have to use the scales to in order to measure the mass of the cell without water and with water so that I can figure out the mass of the water when it's gonna be in also I need to calculate volume for which I need a ruler and I don't have it in here can you imagine I don't have a ruler in the lab Anyways, come with me to the workshop. There you go, that looks like it's ready to, ready to go then. Just pop okay. it on there and measure. Let's measure. 60, 64 grams, 63.7. That off, oh, dear. Uh -huh. Yeah. You film that, didn't you? <laughs> yes. 